Islam literally means surrender, and it comes from the root word which means peace as well as purity. Thus, the connotation becomes that peace is attained through surrender, through purity, through spiritual purification. This is literally the meaning of the word Islam. In this video, you're going to learn how being in a state of Islam, how being a Muslim, naturally necessitates a state of relaxation. In other words, surrender equals relaxation. The opposite of surrender is resistance. You're either surrendering or you're resisting, and the result of resistance is tension. Thus, non-surrender, non-Islam equals resistance, which equals tension. So on one hand, you have Islam, you have surrender, you have relaxation. On the other side, on the other pole, on the other extreme, we have non-surrender, non-Islam, tension. And in this program, in the Islamic meditation program, you're going to continue to learn how body awareness is critical to spiritual development. It's actually very important because the body reflects the mind. You see, our entire being is connected. It's one. We tend to create artificial delineations between the body, the mind, and the spirit. But in reality, they're all connected. They're all one. They're all fused together in this being. And each one affects the other. The state of your mind, the state of your consciousness affects the state of your body, which affects the state of your soul. All of this put together creates the state of your being. The state of your being, how you are literally being in this moment. So again, the state of your body is actually a manifestation, a reflection of the state of your mind, the state of your spirit. The body is the densest form of expression of your being. And by looking at the body, what is clearly apparent, what is easily accessible to us, sometimes it's more difficult to get in touch with our feelings, with our thoughts, with our subconscious thoughts. But your body will always let you know what you're thinking, what you're feeling. So by becoming aware of the body, you're actually becoming aware of your energetic spiritual state, your psycho-spiritual state. Your body state is a result of your feelings. Again, the state that your body in is literally a reflection, a manifestation, an expression of your feelings. Your feelings are a result of your thoughts, what's happening deeper in your mind. If you're thinking positive thoughts, happy thoughts, peaceful thoughts, thoughts in alignment with truth, thoughts in alignment with Islam, you will naturally develop a relaxed, peaceful body state. So your feelings originate from your thoughts. They're a result of your thoughts. It's your biochemistry reacting to the thoughts that your mind, your subconscious mind, is thinking. Your thoughts originate from your beliefs. So based on the beliefs that you hold in your mind, the paradigm from which you operate, that will determine, that will govern, that will dictate that will give expression to the quality of thoughts that you experience, which again then results in your feelings, which results in your state of being. So your body state is a result of your feelings. Your feelings are a result of your thoughts. Your thoughts are a result of your beliefs, and your beliefs are a result of your paradigm. Are you living and operating? Are you coming from a place, are you rooted from a place that originates from an Islamic paradigm? or a non-Islamic paradigm, a paradigm in which truth is the absolute reality or other than truth is governing and dictating our feelings, our thoughts, our emotions, and our experiences. When a human being is operating from a paradigm based in Islam, from a place where Islam is the reality, surrender to the Divine Presence, surrender to Divine Will, complete absorption in Allah's Divine Presence. When a person is operating from a state of Islam, a paradigm in Islam, he or she is known as a Muslim. That is literally the meaning of a Muslim, one who is in a state of surrender. And the only way to be in a state of surrender is to operate from a place of surrender, from a paradigm based in Islam. Again, we tend to forget that the words Islam and Muslim are definitions of a state and a description of a person who is in that state. We tend to forget and casually identify with the word Muslim or Islam but in reality, those are states to aspire to. A true Muslim, a real Muslim, is one who is in a state of Islam, in a state of surrender, in a state of peace, relaxation, and divine surrender, internal spiritual surrender. 